Hey there folks, Santee at the Arizona Ghost Riders here. We got mail. Santee, could you do a video on the Winchester lever actions? About 10 of you. The Winchester repeating rifle. Yeah. Let's do it. When you hear talk about the gun that won the West, folks are referring to one of the two schools of thought on this. In an earlier episode, we mentioned the Colt Single Action Army, and in this episode, the Winchester Repeating Rifle. So, let's get cracking on the rifle. The idea of a lever action repeater goes way back to an early design in 1849, which was developed throughout the Civil War into what we know today. Benjamin Henry came out with his version of the design that implemented the 44 cartridge. It was manufactured by the New Haven Arms Company and distributed to elements of the Union Army in 1860. The repeater rightfully made the Confederates angry. That damn Yankee rifle they'd load on Sunday and shoot all week. After the war, Oliver Winchester renamed New Haven Arms the Winchester Repeating Arms Company and started mass producing lever action repeaters for civilian use. Just my rifle The 1866 was the first Winchester named repeater, which was still chambered in 44 and retained its brass receiver. Nicknamed the Yellow Boy, it was widely popular and purchased by many countries overseas who were fighting their own wars. In 1873, they came out with the steel framed model in 4440. Later, it was offered in 3220 and 3840 as well. These guns were extremely popular, selling over 700,000 models, and was coined the gun that won the West. Our Victorian ancestors could get one for about $50, which was pricey. However, the value of the firepower in the tubular magazine holding 15 rounds was great. Well, that was different. Present at the Battle of Little Bighorn, Henry's and Winchester 1866s were reportedly used by a quarter of the attackers against the 7th Cavalry's single-shot rifles. The 1876 was another hit, with an added bonus of being able to shoot more powerful cartridges for big game hunters. Oliver Winchester died in 1880, but the company continued to come out with cutting-edge repeating rifles, including the 1886, 1892, 1894, and 1895 models, which closed out the era we know as the Old West. Many of these models are still available and are favored by cowboy action shooters and hunters alike. Copies like this Rossi are also popular. Interestingly, in 2014, an archaeologist in the Great Basin National Park in eastern Nevada found an 1873 model leaning against a tree. Although they tracked its date of manufacture to 1882, the exact year and reason it was left there are unknown. In the future, we will highlight some famous Old Westians who use the Winchester rifle, but for now, I would like to tell you all how much I appreciate you bearing with me while doing Nightfall at Old Tucson Studios, as well as my family for putting up with the late nights. Thanks, y'all. Well, folks, that's it for another episode. Thanks for watching. And as always, please like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you on down the trail.